Once again, welcome back to Graphic Island Tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this professional CV. So first, set up the page. And from here, choose A4 size. And choose RGB. OK. Now take rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Now change the color. Select the rectangle. Take direct selection tool by pressing shift key. Do multiple selections of the nodes and drag it down. Now take this little bit down by using arrow key. Now draw another rectangle at the top. Let's draw a circle by pressing Shift and Alt key. Remove the fill color and keep outlines only. Now bring the circle to the font. Use Shift and Alt key, drag it down and make it smaller in size. Let's make duplicate of the object. So copy, paste in place. Press and hold Shift and Alt key, drag it outside and make bigger in size. Now do multiple selections by pressing Shift key, take Shape Builder tool, press Alt key and delete it. Similarly, do multiple selections of the objects by pressing Shift key, take Shape Builder tool, press and hold Alt key and delete it. Let's draw another rectangle at the bottom. Let's send this new rectangle to back. Now select this and change the color from here. Let's draw a few small rectangles over dark blue object. Change the color. Drag the rectangle by using Alt key and make duplicate. Use Ctrl D and repeat duplicates. By using text tool, write some headings here and from here you can increase the size and write the text. Now duplicate it by pressing Alt key and repeat the duplicate by using Ctrl plus T. Now edit those text. Now select those text and from here do some changes in font style and drag it down by using Shift and Alt key. Place those text over small rectangles. Select text by pressing shift key and align them to the center. Now use arrow key and bring them at the middle. Now take pencil tool. By using shift key, draw a straight line. Now remove the fill color and keep outlines only. And select it again and increase the stroke.
now drag and place those icons Take pen tool, by pressing shift key, draw a horizontal straight line. By pressing alt key, make duplicate. Select both the lines by pressing shift key and increase the stroke. Select the icon, do right click and send it to front. Similarly, send it to front. Select this ellipse tool, press and hold shift and alt key and draw small circles over this line. Now drag it by using alt key and make duplicate. Make duplicate once again. Ctrl plus D and repeat the duplicate. Similarly, Make copy once again by pressing ALT key, drag it by pressing ALT key again and now press CTRL plus D and make duplicate. Let's draw a circle by using SHIFT and ALT key, remove the outlines and fill the color. Now copy, paste in place, drag it down by using SHIFT and ALT key. Change the color. Now draw a straight line by using shift key. Now increase the stroke. Remove the fill color. Put outlines only. Now select it and increase the stroke from here. Select the line. Press R button on your keyboard, drag the center by using ALT key and give some angle here, 15 degrees fine, copy. Now repeat this duplicate by using CTRL plus D. Now select them all and do minus front from here. Now change the color. Select it and remove outline color and change the fill color and make it smaller in size bring it here let's make duplicate by using alt key write the languages that you know Now duplicate it by using ALT key. Select this object and use gradient color from here. Let's change the color. So here I'm mixing two color. Double click over the object and remove some portion. 
so it depends on you uh, how much you know each languages according to that uh, you can add it like this now take rectangle and draw some few small rectangles change the color and duplicate it just select it copy paste in place and drag it from here and change the color and we'll write software names that we know well and according to that uh, you need to manipulate this yellow color select both by pressing shift key drag it by using alt key and make duplicate so this yellow color will uh, decide how much uh, you know about the software how much experience you have now select them and take it a little bit upward by using arrow key now let's write some text so here i'll write some software name so it depends on you which software you know well and which one you want to mention here now change the color to white now drag the text by using alt key and make duplicate and repeat it by pressing ctrl d now edit the text and write software name here now drag those contact icon over contact details and place it here now bring it little bit down by using arrow key bring them little bit down too by using arrow key now write some text and uh, write your contact number use your mail id use your street address everything here let's unlock the first object that we locked now select it take shape builder tool change the color and fill this gap now drag your photo over here and send it to back and place it on the middle by using arrow key you can manipulate the position now send it to back change the color to white now select both the object by pressing shift key and from here click on clipping mask now it looks perfect and here you can fill the details like work experience where you worked before at what position you worked how long you work when you joined everything and what are the different companies you work so you can uh, you need to fill your details here so I am using some uh, random text here to fill those area so here draw a rectangle and select both take shape builder tool by using alt key delete it and we made some gap here you can change the color of the text now it looks great let's save it in uh, png transparent let's increase the size of the image so that it can easily fit on our mock-up and you can view it from here and now save it on desktop you can give any name and save it now open photoshop cc or cs6 and open our mockup 
I'll give this link of mockup on description. You can access it and download this mockup file. Now open this mockup and double click on the first layer. Now drag our image over the mockup file. Now feed this image over mockup file by using shift key. Just drag this image by using shift key and fit it perfectly and mark it. Unmark those background and images. And now close it. Yes. Let's check out the mockup. Wow, this looks great. Hope you like this tutorial. Hope you learn how to make CB. You can subscribe us. See you in next video.